We move to questions to members. Question number one in the name of Poto Williams. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, my question is to the member responsible for parental leave and employment protection six months paid leave amendment bill and asks, why did she draft the parental leave and employment protection six months paid leave amendment bill? Mr Speaker. Sue Moroni. I drafted the bill in response to research and evidence showing that bonding and attachment between parent and baby in early months improved that child's life outcomes, that supporting breastfeeding to 26 weeks improved that child's health, and that supporting women to retain their connection to paid work increased their economic independence and workplace productivity. Work subsequently undertaken by the Government Administration Select Committee confirmed that extending paid parental leave to 26 weeks is a cost-efficient way to promote great outcomes for families and New Zealand society. S supplementary question, Poto Williams. Thank you, sir. Um, to the member, are you planning uh, any other in amendments? Uh, it's a marginal question, but I'll let it go. Order. It relates to the bill. The question and bringing the speaker into the uh, question wasn't useful. I'm going to allow the, uh, the member to answer it. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Despite the sound social and economic arguments for 26 weeks paid parental leave for all in its current form, the bill will be defeated by National. So I am proposing an amendment I expect all parties can support. It extends paid parental leave to 26 weeks for parents of newborn twins or triplets, parents of babies born prematurely, or, or parents of babies born with a disability. These parents face the greatest financial pressures to return to work before it may be in the best interests of their families to do so. My new proposal reduces the cost to just $6 million in the next financial year. That concludes questions for oral answer. Would some honourable member care to move that the House take note Mr. of miscellaneous business? Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman.